Collapsing of buildings in the country has now become a cause of concern. A recent report by the National Construction Authority revealed that in the last five years, approximately 87 buildings have collapsed while 200 people have lost their lives in the process and 1,000 others have been injured. The counties of Nairobi, Kajiado and Kiambu are most affected, with Kiambu leading the park. A recent incident occurred last week in Kiambu, where tenants were evacuated from a five-story building before it collapsed hours later. <laughs> the Institution of Engineering, Technologists and Technicians have now pointed a finger at the government, blaming the National Construction Authority for failing to involve engineering professionals in the construction process as the Constitution mandates. For the last three years, the mandate of the board has not been executed effectively, which could be a pointer to some of the challenges that the building construction sector is experiencing. The regulatory body, Kenya Registration Board, was established by the Engineering Technology Act 2016. The board's term, however, expired in November 2019, which has since not been reconstituted. This points out that proper inspections have not been going on in the last three years. The professionals say the absence of the body has denied thousands of engineering technology professionals an opportunity to get a practicing licenses which can only be issued by the body. The absence of the board has denied thousands of engineering technology professionals an opportunity to get practicing licenses which can only be issued by the board. The board say this may be detrimental to the Kenya Kwanzaa administration plan on housing and they are now calling for the head of public service to ensure that Ketrab is placed under appropriate ministry. The head of public service to ensure the responsible cabinet secretary constitutes Ketrab. Mombi Wambogo, K24 TV.